Hi, welcome to this Corporate Maths primary video on listing outcomes. In this video, we're going to look at how to list all the possible options or combinations for an event. So here's a typical question. The question says, Holly is going to make a pizza with two toppings and she can choose from chicken, mushroom, olives and pineapple. And one possible combination she could have would be chicken and mushroom because it's got two toppings, chicken and mushroom. And the question says write down all the possible combinations. So whenever doing a question like this, I would highly recommend that you work for it in a logical way. Okay, not to just jump around sort of and choose random options. So on chicken and mushroom, let's keep the chicken the same and I do chicken and olives. So that could be another option. And we've done chicken and mushroom and chicken and olives. The next one I would consider would be chicken and pineapple. So we've now done all the pizzas that could have chicken on it. We've done chicken and mushroom, chicken and olives, chicken and pineapple, okay? Now, because we've got chicken and mushroom, I wouldn't write down mushroom and chicken because that's sort of the same sort of combination of toppings. Okay, so we've done all the ones with chicken. Now let's move on to mushroom. We could have mushroom and olives. And we could also have mushroom and pineapple. Okay, and they're the, all the options with mushroom. Obviously, we've already got the chicken and mushroom. Okay, and finally, thinking of the options with olives, we could have olives and pineapples. And that's it. So they're all the combinations that we could have. Okay, and we worked our way down through doing chicken and mushroom, chicken and olives, chicken and pineapple, mushroom and olives, mushroom and pineapple, and then olives and pineapple. So it's just working through it in a logical way. And if you work through it in a logical way, you'll get all the possible combinations.